Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be going through the best settings if you want to optimize your aim in Kronker. Going from different Kronker settings, to more settings, and some aim tips too. Join my Discord server to find different crosshairs and CSS that can actually help you aim better. Starting with Kronker settings, you want your FOV to be around 80 to 90, as this is the best range for your aim. A low FOV like this helps your opponents to look larger on your screen. However, my aim looks really jittery and I can't really see to the left and right of my screen. This makes movement really difficult. Using a high FOV can smooth out my aim and make movement slightly easier for me. As you can see, my aim was really smooth right there. However, it looks really distorted, so it's best to find a balance between low FOV and high FOV. Using a high FOV can make your crosshair look closer to your enemy than it actually is. This can mess with your aim as it's difficult to gauge where your crosshair is relative to your opponent and how much you have to compensate to flick left or right. A FOV like 85 allows me to aim with bigger targets, gauge better, flick better, and also move better than a low FOV. Thus, I feel that around 80 to 90 FOV is the best balance. Under experimental settings, turn on raw mouse input. Experiment with changing your window sense, because this may affect your aim in game. Without that setting, Kronker does not use the raw input, and your sense in game actually depends on the cursor sensitivity in windows. I recommend turning this option on. For mouse flick fix, I would recommend you to turn it off unless you have issues with mouse flicking. If you have issues with mouse flicking, set it to around 120 to 125. For aim freeze fix, it's to fix high ping or freezing while shooting. I would recommend you turn it off unless you have issues with freezing. Mouse acceleration doesn't do anything in Kronker. I would recommend keeping it off. Use raw cell if you want any mouse acceleration. You can use different curves for different mouse acceleration. And really play with these curves to find which curves is the best for you. However, personally, I don't use mouse acceleration. It takes time to find the best curve for you, so I would recommend really having fun and enjoying the process while finding your perfect mouse acceleration settings for aim. For your mouse settings, use 500 pulling rate and 800 dpi if you have issues with Kronker. However, if you're not finding any buffering or instability in Kronker, I would recommend using 1600 dpi and 1000 to 2000 pulling rate. This gives you the best performance for your mouse. Using a higher DPI and pulling rate can smooth out your cursor input, making it more accurate too. You can find this video that I have to find your perfect sensitivity in Kronker. I will link it in the description below. Additionally, if you want to find your CM plus 360, you can go into game. In order, in order to import your sense from another game into Kronker, I recommend using an online sense converter. Now, let's say I want to import my Valorant sensitivity into Kronker. Go to this site, aiming.pro, key in your mouse DPI and your sensitivity in game, and it will give you a CM per 360. It says 40.8 here. Now, I go into Kronker, host a game of Sandstorm, place a 30 CM ruler on my table, look at the tiles on the floor. Place my mouse at 0 cm and then just turn 180 degrees. Look at the ruler, it says 20 centimeters. Multiplying 20 by 2, I get 40. If this is higher than the cm per 360 in your other game, then you can increase your sensitivity in Kronker by let's say 0 0.01. Do this until you get the exact same cm per 360 in both games like Valorant and Kronker. This is what I used back in the day to get the same sense in both Valorant and Kronker. A tip if you're just finding your sense from scratch is that you should stick with a lower sense first and then slowly train your aim such that you can use higher sensitivities and still aim well and be comfortable with it. Higher sensitivities do require your aim to be much better and much more controlled so I would recommend starting with a low sensitivity if you're just starting to aim until you're using a high sensitivity with a high amount of control and precision, which is the best of both worlds. Another tip that I can give you is to use a clean CSS. This will really help you aim better in game. Let me show you. With unobtrusive CSS like this one, 
there's, there isn't much UI blocking you in-game, allowing you to aim much better. It basically looks like an aim trainer from here, with not much of an in intrusive crunker UI, allowing you to fo just focus on your crosshair and your aim. Additionally, you can pick a crosshair from a Discord server, one that isn't too big or isn't too small. I recommend either using a dot, like these ones, or using one of these, or a plus like I'm using right now. Alright, that's it for this video. Remember to join my Discord server to get all these different resources like crosshairs and CSSs to really optimize your aim. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below or ask them in this Discord server. I'll answer you there. Alright, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.